Space Journey was probably here doing another NECA figure review on the Aliens Private William Hudson vs. Xenomorph Warrior 2 pack. Gotta thank ToyNewsEye.com for making this review possible. Check them out at ToyNewsEye.com. Link in the description below. If you want to pick up this figure set, you can find it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now, during my P.O. Box pickups videos, I was corrected. Thank you, Fancy Pants Jr., that I've confused this with the Hicks 2 pack that I'd seen at Toys R Us. So, this is actually a different 2 pack, and it looks awesome. I really like the Xenomorph Warrior right here. I have the other one, the single carded one, and I'll do a comparison with that later on. But it looks like it's the same figure with just some, like, you know, these, uh, you know, alien splooge coming out of his body from getting shot up and everything. So, here's the front of the packaging over here. On the side of the packaging, we do have Hudson looking pretty cool. It's just the picture of the figure. And then on the other side, we have this really cool design. We have these three different screenshots over here, which looks pretty cool. You see, you have the mission time written in there and everything like that. Then on the very back of the packaging, you can see the figures displayed. You can see he's shooting down the alien. And then we have a little bio describing what's going on. And then you have also available, we have Hicks versus Warrior and then Aliens Genocide. I also got to mention, I really like this old school clamshell packaging over here. I really like it a lot. It looks pretty dope. Anyway, let's get to it and crack these figures open. So here's Hudson and the Xenomorph Warrior out of the packaging. And these are great looking figures. I'm especially impressed with this Hudson figure. Awesome articulation. Paint sculpt is out of this world. As you can see, he's using some toe articulation right over there, which I think is very, very nice. And again, the Xenomorph Warrior is the same one that we got before, but we have this added effect to the chest, and it does have different paint applications. And I thought it was a great figure the first time. I think it's great second time around. And especially with these added effects to it and paint applications, it doesn't feel like it's the same exact figure. So that is awesome. So anyway, let's take a closer look at these things. Let's start with the Xenomorph Warrior. <laughs> It's been a really, really long time since I've revisited the Alien movies, especially the sequel. I mean, I haven't really seen any of them since I was a kid, honestly. But I remember them looking more like this right here with the bluish kind of color. I think they're just a solid black. I don't remember them having this brown tone to them. But anyway, this guy looks really, really cool. Let's take a closer look. Since I've pretty much already reviewed this figure, I'm going to be somewhat brief with this. Uh, but the sculpt, regardless, is fantastic. And I do like how the brown looks over the black on this figure. It does look very, very nice. It's a light tan color. And I think it's beautiful. It looks great and the detail on the mouth I really like the silver paint applications for his teeth. That is really really cool now the same problem I have on my first xenomorph alien I do have this little break right over here and you can see that right here on this guy also So they have it in the same place and it's only on the right side not on the left side So you can see there's no break over there and then there's also no break over here on this side and then this tongue teeth Thingy. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Looks great. He has some nice paint detail in there. If I darken my settings up a little bit, you can see the silver teeth right there, and that looks pretty good. And you can see the nice paint detail on this. That looks nice. And then you can see the teeth a little bit better right here, these big teeth. Now, this gets a little floppy in here. I don't really like how this is loose. It's not, you know, I feel like if I push too hard, it's going to come out like how it did on the other one. Now, these acid blood splatter effects look great. I think they did a great job with these. We have some nice paint detail in them. I like how they're like a green color right here, closer to the center. And they have this yellowish mustard yellow kind of color coming out of it. I always thought that was so freaky that their blood was acidic. That really, really creeped me out. It's like, wow, even if you hurt them, you can still get hurt. You know, I just thought that was always really, really cool. And again, I really like this black glossy paint that they used for the majority of the figure. And you can see on a lot of parts, it still has the blue shading. Like right here, you can see the blue shading on it. So they still kept that in there. But overall, I mean, this sculpt is just remarkable. There's nothing to really complain about the sculpting, I think. I think they did a really, really good job on this figure. Look at the hands. Everything looks great on it. Look at the feet. And there's a look at his posable tail. Nice paint detail on the tail. And here's the back of the legs. And the rest of the back of the figure over here. Looks pretty nice. Now just like on the other one that I reviewed, this little piece right here comes out. So they did that on purpose so that you can rotate the head back a little farther. And just to see if it would work, I tried peeling these effects off, but no, they don't come off at all. They're meant to stay there. And not forget his awesome bendy tail over here that bends all the way down to this point right here. Uh, from this on, it doesn't bend anymore, but you can tell there's a wire in it. And you can position this pretty much any way you want. Now you can bend it up and down, side to side. So this Xenomorph Alien figure is not short by any means. He stands, I want to say, close to 9 inches tall. And here's both Xenomorph Warrior figures side by side, looking very identical. And here he is next to Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And then here's the Xenomorph Warrior Alien figure compared to the Hudson figure. Now this Hudson figure, I think, is the best part of this two-pack. This thing is really, really awesome. I actually only have one real complaint about the figure. Maybe two, actually. But overall, this thing 
thing is an incredible piece. He comes with a lot of accessories. And this is a really, really badass figure. Let's take a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at this guy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have not watched the Alien movies in a long time, and I don't know what this is, but I'm guessing it's a camera of some sort. And it has this little peg right over here, and it's nicely painted, though. I gotta say that. It has some nice paint shading, and it also has, like, a grip right there, so I guess he can hold it. it has some articulation. I don't know if it's meant to be articulated or not, but I am kind of pulling it apart right there, but it goes right back in there, and I could rotate this around. I thought I could move this piece right here up and down, but I cannot. So it has this peg, and it goes right into his back. You can see where it's supposed to fit in right there. It has that flat top section right over there, and you just go ahead and search for it a little bit and plug it in right there, and it just goes right over his shoulder. And like I said, it has this gripping thing, so you can fit it into his hand if you want to. And I guess he holds it like this. I'm not really sure. And he also comes with this little guy right here that hangs onto his belt, so there's this peg that just goes through that little hole right there, and then you can have him hold this as well. You can see like the little finger grooves right there sculpted. Again, I don't really know exactly what this is for. And Hudson also comes with this accessory over here. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it's an infrared camera if I remember correctly. I don't really remember too much. It was a long time ago. It looks like we have some aliens getting detected on here. I'm not exactly sure. And this nice strap looks awesome. I like the little lines sculpted in it. We have some nice silver paint applications. And you can hold it right there. That could fit into his hand as well. And this strap is made out of a soft ply mold material and it straps over his shoulder very easily so you can just wrap it through like that. That's not too hard at all. That looks pretty good. And lastly he comes with this space rifle which looks awesome as hell. I really like how this looks. I like the paint applications. You have some nice silver right here and over here. And up at the front over here. This looks great. And I like this strap too. The strap has this nice texture to it that's kind of hard to see but you can see how it's nicely textured. And he holds it very very well. You can put it in both hands. That works out nicely. And the finger goes right through the trigger hole perfectly. Now this face sculpt and the paint detail throughout the whole figure is amazing. But I really like what they did with this face sculpt. Look at that. You really got that awesome facial expression. Very very intense. I don't remember how close this looks to the actor but I really like how this looks overall. I mean I just think this is very very impressive. The figure all around is just awesome. Look at all the paint detail. All the little sculpted parts, man. Even the back of the helmet over here looks really, really cool. We got the googly eyes painted right there. This is great. Look at the texture on the helmet. That is awesome. Look at the little camera right over here. Or I think this is just a light. It says Brain Dead. You have some small writing right here on the top. And I really like how the stubble is painted on there and sculpted on there as well. And you have nice detail in the mouth and everything. It looks very realistic. I like it a lot. Look at this chin strap. It looks really cool and everything. Now this vest part is made out of a very pliable material, which I thought was a very smart move on NECA's part. And it is not removable. I tried taking it apart. I tried peeling it off over here. And it's not something that it's letting me really do. But again, with the nice decals on here, nice paint detail. You can see it's very worn. You have some black speckled in there throughout. It looks like an American Eagle right over here. And these straps look very, very cool and everything. This is just really, really impressive to me. I'm really digging this. Look at all the shading and stuff. That is awesome. Nice rolled up sleeves right here on the arms. The flesh tones look great. And then my second gripe with this figure is this forearm over here. That does not look right. It looks deformed or something like it's been run over by a car. It looks too skinny. It's just kind of weird. Look how big the hand looks compared to the forearm. The bicep looks all right. Nice detail over here. And this left forearm looks a little flat too, but not nearly as bad. This one's a little wider and looks a little bit more realistic looking. And you can see the left hand sculpted right there to hold the other end of the rifle. That that looks very, very cool. I like the shading and the sculpted work right here on these straps. That looks very nice. You can see the American flag right there on his shoulder. But this looks like a catcher's guard or something like that. It's kind of funny. There's wrinkles right here on his camo pants and everything. I'm really impressed with this. All the little details on this thing. Even the little knee pads and stuff. These shin guards. They even have some nicks right there. They even got the nicks into that. That is just really impressive. Look at these boots, man. This is great. Some nice color variation in these boots. Got some silver right there. Damn, that is awesome. I like the treads underneath the feet. Get some peg holes. The aliens don't have any peg holes at the bottom of their feet. I didn't mention that earlier, but that is great. Really good articulation and everything on this guy, too. I'll get into that in a second. And here's the back of the figure. 
So as I was trying to remove the helmet on this guy, I ended up popping the head off instead, which I thought was kind of funny. So this has just a ball peg kind of head joint over here, but it moves back and forth some. So you can get him to look up a reasonable amount, not a whole lot. I guess you could try to half it on there, but it would be kind of tricky. You can get him to look down pretty well, and his head rotates side to side, and it does have a neck pivot. He has shoulders that move outward. You can rotate them forward. He has a bicep swivel over here, a single jointed elbow that does not bend too well, Bends all right, actually, kind of 90 degrees. This side bends a little bit more. Both wrists rotate, and they have a hinge that allows the wrist to move up and down. He has a nice diaphragm joint in here, so you can rotate side to side. He has a pivot, and he crunches forward and moves back just a little bit. He has nice hip articulation that moves all the way outward, and you can move the legs all the way forward, too. They're on these nice T-joints, so it kind of reminds me of the Legends a little bit. He has upper thigh rotation as well, double-jointed knees that bend in very far, ankles that move down just a little bit they barely move up you can rotate them side to side he has a gorgeous ankle pivot love the ankle pivot and toe articulation very happy to see toe articulation on this guy so Hudson stands at a decent height he's in NECA scale so he stands at uh, just over seven inches tall and here he is standing next to the NECA hero ash figure so they are in perfect scale together and here's Hudson compared to my lost predator figure and if I remember correctly the predators are supposed to be a lot larger than normal humans and here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown spider-man then here he is once again next to the Xeno more warrior alien figure and man I have to say overall I think this is a great set 35 bucks not bad man I really like the articulation on this guy this is still a great figure I'm just not as stoked right now at this moment because I already have one you know what I'm saying but still a great alien figure and I'm really excited to have two of them so I could have them shooting at two aliens at the same time get some displays going on with that that'd be pretty sweet but I'm not really like I said I'm not really a GI Joe guy or really into military kind of like figure Figures, but this thing is cool. He's really fun to pose a lot of articulation The paint sculpt is amazing on this particular figure I just really like it a lot and I highly recommend you guys pick up this set. It is awesome. Totally recommend it I took a bunch of pictures of these figures You can see them at toynewseye.com check them out for the latest in action figure news And please hit the like button if you like the video leave a comment Let me know what you think of these figures and let me know the names of all these different pieces If you happen to know all the names of these things and don't forget to subscribe I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>